Hi everyone, my name is Dan Beltry and I'm one of the founders of Weebly. Weebly is a very simple yet powerful online website creation tool. Uh, we've been in operation for about two and a half years now and have grown to uh, over 1.5 million registered users and a lot of those users are actually teachers and students. Um, so to get started I'll just type a title for the website and press continue and that'll log me right into the editing interface. Um, and so to start you're kind of presented with a blank canvas of a website and up top you'll see that we have the basic building blocks of a website. Um, that We call those elements um, and those can be dragged to your page and easily rearranged to build your site. Um, in the second tab here we got the designs and this kind of gives the overall look and feel of your site and you can easily uh, you know click and hover between designs to change them on the fly. Um, and so when you kind of cho have chosen a a template that you like, um, you just click it and it loads up. Um, and, and this is pretty customizable. For instance, this header image you can click on and I'll go ahead and upload uh, an image that's more appropriate for, for Pearl Harbor. Um, and it'll, it'll go ahead and upload that for you um, and automatically resize it to fit in the space. Um, so now I'll switch back to the elements tab and uh, I'll drag on a paragraph and picture element for instance. Um, and the nice part about Weebly is everything is what you see is what you get. So, for instance, if I type, it can type directly in the uh, in the site. Let's see here, overview of Pearl Harbor, um, and my my website pretty much looks exactly how it will when it's published. Um, so there we go. So I have a nice home page now. Uh, and if you go to the Pages tab, you can easily add additional pages. Um, for instance, I'll add a Videos page. And I'll also add a Pictures page. And if you save it, you'll see up here that it, the, the menu items are automatically added. Um, so I'm on the Videos page now. And you can, switch, you can see here, you can switch between the different element options in the menu. Um, we have, a, we have quite a selection of, of multimedia elements. Uh, you can add a photo gallery, um, an audio player to directly play audio from the site, YouTube videos, um, Google Maps, slideshows. So for instance, in this case, I'm, I'm going to add a YouTube video. And I'm going to switch back to some uh, YouTube addresses that I've already copied um, from YouTube. And if you click the video, you notice this elements bar, and you can you can paste in a new um, address of a video, and it'll automatically load that video up here in in the editing interface. So I'll go ahead and add a second video just to demonstrate again. Um, here we go. Um, so now we have. Two, two Pearl Harbor videos in the site and what you can do to rearrange elements you can just click and drag and it'll automatically move move the elements around as you wish. So the third the third page is the pictures page and uh, I'll show you how to use the photo gallery element real quick. Uh, you just drag that on and you can click the, the image and click to the uh, folder of the images that you want uploaded. You can select multiple images at once, as you just saw, and it'll automatically upload them all, um, resize them properly to fit as the thumbnail version, and then also enable the photos to be clicked and resized larger um, automatically. So it's almost done here. And you can see that all the photos are added in a, in a nice grid format. Um, now, one of the other things I wanted to demonstrate is the flexibility of the the uh, elements you can you can build your own elements or paste embed code from an external site such as um, YouTube or such as if you built a, a a flash game or something like that you can use the embed code for that and so I'll show you I already have a, a flash game here um, for Pearl Harbor ready to go so I just pasted the embed code into the custom HTML element and now we have a fully functional game within the site Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's very straightforward. It's very easy um, 
to build a site, and it's, it's just as easy to go ahead and publish this. Um, so I'll click on Publish, and you don't have to deal with any FTP. You don't have to burn it to CD. It's very simple, straightforward um, way of publishing. You can see that there it is. Um, we just created a website in, a, in just a couple minutes. So this is live right now on the Internet. Um, now, you might be thinking that the tool is pretty limited, but surprisingly, uh, we have the, the ability to directly edit the HTML and CSS of the design to, to really allow those power users flexibility. Um, so I'll demonstrate that here. Um, this loads up the, the HTML of the, of the page and the CSS of the design. Um, so for instance, I will, I'll just change the background image. Um, it's currently a, a black a black repeating image, and I'll just change it to white. Um, so you can go ahead and save a new version of the design. And uh, you know, as simple as that, the, the background is white. Now you can make any changes necessary um, to the HTML and CSS of the site. It's pretty straightforward. So there we go. I just republished, and now we have a, a, a white background on the site. Um, so I hope that gives you a pretty good feel of the of the interface. And uh, if you have any questions along the way, I can be reached at dan at weebly.com. That's D-A-N at weebly.com. And uh, I'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks.